Hi everyone, it's Maria from Jodola Papier. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a flip through of Garden of Versailles, Gardens of Versailles. Um, it's more or less a history of those who not only made it possible but created it. Everyone from Louis the Thirteenth who purchased all 800 hectares in by 1632, to his son Louis the Fourteenth who actually expanded on it, added trees, brought in the fountains and built the canal, the grotto that pumps all the water to the different fountains all over the gardens. Anyway, this journal is really big. It's 10 by 14 with a three inch spine. And the inside end papers are an Italian paper. And I couldn't bear to trim it too much. So I left a lot of raw edges on that front and back end paper. Um, you'll see layers of vintage French pages from Sarah at Crafty Paper Bits and a lot of pages from, or a few pages, from my vintage French um, history of wall French wallpapers, including the cover here, which has a secret back pocket or back page to journal on. Um, it's all covered in that green velvet from my friend Susie. And here's Louis the Thirteenth. He's the one responsible for purchasing all the um, acreages and also for outlining the um, different plots. That's his wife Anne, Anna of Austria, um, Queen Anna of Austria. And then there's the outline of the different plots. And then these images here are actually showing you the influence of English gardens and the Renaissance gardens out of Italy. And it had an image also of the grotto which pumped all the water to the different fountains. Anyway, um, the letter V that I was pointing out, actually that's a vintage French um, pin. And so V for Versailles and then you'll see another one later on. This um, photo album um, picture book um, it is a French version and it's from the early 1900s so I assume it's just something that was um, purchased as a like a souvenir from visiting the gardens anyway I'm not going to be talking too much through here since um, my parents are here and they talk a lot or watch a lot of TV but there are going to be some historical notes like this architect who brought in the fountains, who built the canal, um, brought in um, a lot of monuments, and also just expanded on the bosquets and the parterre, or the uh, different flower, um, floral, um, or excuse me, formal flower gardens. Um, and again, shout out to Sarah, Crafty Paper Bits, because she gave me a lot of original Versailles gardens, um, French pages. And then you'll see some painting um, ephemera, which is actually from your creative studio as well. But again, this is a history of all of the King's Louis that made it possible. This is Louis the 14th. He's the one who really expanded on the gardens and brought in most of the trees. Um, and then a few of the pages from the um, historical uh, wallpapers. This is Queen Marie. Uh, she actually had 10 children with Louis XIV, and she, uh, no, excuse me, Louis XV, um, but she had a grand style. And I wasn't able to put too much of her history in here, but I'll send a digital to the new owner just so she has that. Um, the Chateau Versailles Museum had a lot of references um, that I think she should keep with the journal. Anyway, oh, I love this little piece here. This is actually a playing card. It looks like it was hand sketched. I did get a lot of pieces from, um, let's see, Austin Paper Tree in Germany. And so you'll see German pages. You'll see pages from Switzerland. Um, the napkins are from Monique in Switzerland. Of course, Sarah's um, French items from France. And then um, a lot of trims from different friends all over the world. So I'll be sure to call out a few things on the pages. That was Louis the 15th, and then I've got a few sketches of some of the most prominent flowers um, on, in the gardens. But then pretty much assume that all of these pages here are originals. And you're gonna see a lot of metal pieces throughout, including the front gate um, that was on the spine of the journal. Those are all from the 1800s France. And it took me a whole day to get them in the journal because I had to fill them. They were, um, they were die cast. Um, 
uh, metals, so I had to fill them first before gluing them into the journal, so it took a lot of time. But I also wanted to show how the garden also influenced the inside of um, Versailles, Chateau, Chateau Versailles. Because obviously the garden is both indoors and out. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy the flip through. It's really just meant to explain to the new owner what's in here um, and the historical references throughout. And everything is chosen um, specifically, whether it's a flower that was is prominent in the gardens or handmade by Sarah, for example, this um, tab right here, this um, chapter tab. Um, collage. Uh, I didn't want to cover up too much of it. And again, I was, I'm really proud of the fact that I was able to get these antique metal pieces um, in the book directly. So anyway, enjoy the flip through and the music.